Hi, I'm Dr. O'Shaughnessy. I'm one of the reproductive endocrinologists at Conceptions Reproductive Associates. So when a couple comes in, we actually do a workup that involves both of them. It obviously takes two people to conceive. Most of the workup generally is with the female. The male workup includes a semen analysis. So let's start with the semen analysis since that seems to be the easiest thing. The semen analysis is consists of four components. We look at the volume, uh, which is how much uh, a man ejaculates. Uh, and we look at the concentration, which is the number of sperm per milliliter of the ejaculate, and, and that's generally cons considered the sperm count. And then we look at the motility of the sperm, so that's the percentage of sperm that are actually moving. Um, and it's not just the percentage of movement, we also want to know the progression of the sperm. So that means how quickly the sperm are moving, are they moving in a straight linear fashion. Uh, which is also very important. Um, we also look at the uh, morphology. The morphology is a percentage of sperm that are shaped normally. What we're looking at is the head of the sperm, the neck of the sperm, and the tail. Um, and all those should be shaped uh, a certain way in order for them to be considered normal. Um, most sperm actually are shaped abnormally. So uh, surprisingly, only uh, our lower limit of normal is 4%. And so we want 4% or higher uh, for our normal morphology. For sperm count or the concentration, we want to see a concentration of 15 million per milliliter and motility at least 40% of the sperm should be moving. So that's a uh, semen analysis. If the semen analysis is abnormal, we will probably repeat the semen analysis. And if again it is abnormal, uh, then we will refer the patient, the male, uh, to a urologist, a specialist, uh, for further workup.